If it smells like QE, if it sounds like QE, if it looks like QE, it is QE. Trying to solve a debt problem by creating more debt. Economist Mohammed A. L. Aryan calls it QE light. The federal government has grown so large that it is sucking the liquidity out of the system. They sell treasuries and to replace the liquidity sopped up, and the Fed has to go buy them back. It's that simple. This Ponzi scheme can go on for only so long. The longer it lasts, the harder the crash. The amount of theft going on behind the scenes in the last 10 years has to be mind-blowing. Free money for the banks. Get back to work, serfs. Pay those loans. Pay them taxes. Modern slaves are not in chains, they are in debt. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. Financial system is coming apart. Might want to take your money out of the bank and get a safe for your cash. The Marxists' plan is to destroy the US economy. That is their plan throughout history. No different now. The Fed possessing all its own debt is probably the only way the power that be could start their endgame against US dollar without nuking the global economy in the process. Swapping treasuries which are full faith and credit for zero interest rates loans from the Fed is akin to swapping a paper contract for unicorn farts. This would only make sense if the Fed is going to self-immolate and take all those bad loans with it leaving foreign holders literally holding the empty bag. Kind of like the bad bank SNL bailout of the 90s. I guess then a new Fed could be born with all the treasuries on the balance sheet, or maybe exchanged for some new crypto. This could be the great reset with literally the USSA being owned by the new Fed 2.0. These crooks are such sociopaths that I wouldn't be surprised if this is the ultimate plan. Whatever plan they think they have to make themselves feel better, the reality is they have 70 years of failed monetary, fiscal and energy policies by the tail and they're just along for the ride trying to hang on. The way bigger problem is the Fed has a new desk since this COVID money printing started that is designed to take possession of T-bills as collateral from foreign countries and major financial players, and then give out zero interest rates loans in return. Not only will the Fed soon secretly possess most if not all its own debt, but the increase in liquidity is staggeringly in the trillions. The Fed is like one giant ARC fund getting ready to go down with the ship. The Fed has to print so it can keep printing. So to achieve this standard goal, it must keep printing. This is a train wreck waiting to happen. Market interest rates rise due to inflation. Fed cannot crush. Bank C can make more profitable loans to public at higher interest rates with mountain of excess reserves better than Fed balances or T-bills. Fed must chase I rates uphill to stifle money supply growth and inflation, but will not as to be accommodative, a soda costs $20, $1 bill substitute for more expensive toilet paper. Real rates are already negative and heading further south, unless you believe the bankster's transitory narrative, just saying it makes me laugh. By the end of this year it's game over. The Fed will print until the dollar is destroyed. That is all they have. Everything else they talk about is just frosting on the cake. They will print, and print, and print until it is over. Today the primary dealers needed and took another $73.5 billion in Fed overnight repos and $30.65 billion in 14-day term repos for a total of $104.5 billion in temporary open market operations. Meanwhile, $96.5 billion in repos expired. So the total Fed repos outstanding rose to a new record of $205.7 billion. It's QE forever, a permanent QE. The Fed will need to buy treasuries of all maturities from the primary dealers from now till kingdom come. On top of that, it will continue to lend as much additional money via temporary open market operations, as the dealers need to absorb the rest of the new treasury supply that the Fed isn't buying outright. This is the classic case of the snake eating its own tail. For all intents and purposes, JP Morgan Chase and the Federal Reserve Bank are the same people. They were printing money out of thin air. They don't have it. They've printed money into oblivion, and when they can't acquire physical gold, they're going to dump paper and go full bore into acquiring physical assets. The golden rule is, and always has been, the backup plan for the central banks and anyone who thinks otherwise is a fool. As the power that be have taken this path, 
it became evident that they were not going to relent and allow world finances to balance out and avoid a total catastrophe. Nope, they see the cliff ahead, and they are full speed ahead, wily coyote they are not. Number 1. The global economy is now an addict, addicted to the financial heroin provided by the central banks, central banks, of the world. The economy, can't handle the truth, of the natural rate of interest, or apparently survive without constant jawboning, interventions, and machinations by said central banks. Number 2. There have been two asset bubbles that popped in the 21st century, so far. 1. The dot-com bubble. 2. The housing bubble 1.0. We're now experiencing the everything bubble, which like its first two predecessors, is also doomed to crash and burn spectacularly. The Fed and central banks couldn't prevent it the first two times, and they won't this time either. Housing bubble 2.0 is currently a slow motion train wreck, but you won't hear that or any other negative reporting that goes against everything is awesome. Narrative in the mainstream media cartel. The ginormous stock in corp. Bond bubbles are now also starting to roll over. It is not different this time. The central banks and the current plutocracy, crony capitalist system are effectively financial socialism, communism. For the few, a centrally planned command and control economy has always failed historically. Free, but regulated, markets plus sound money have been proven historically to be successful for increasing the wealth and standard of living for most, but there are too few opportunities for graft, corruption, with the latter, and too many opportunities for the concentration of wealth and power in a few hands with the former. So here we are. It's no wonder why we have Brexit, a rise in general populism, and growing civil unrest. Let them eat cake, only works for so long. We must make a choice. We may have democracy, or we may have wealth concentrated in the hands of a few, but we cannot have both. Put simply, the extraordinary and experimental policies of quantitative easing and zero interest rates have not been good except in the myopic sense of encouraging a short-term burst of very bad choices and misallocations of capital. The fact is that while yield-seeking speculation is a powerful force, it only operates when investors are actually inclined to speculate. Creating a mountain of zero-interest money works only if safe, Low-interest liquidity is viewed by investors as an inferior holding compared to riskier securities like stocks and long-term bonds. If investors are instead inclined toward risk aversion, safe, low-interest liquidity is a desirable asset, not an inferior one, so creating more of the stuff does nothing to encourage speculation. The biggest point is no matter what they do, they can't fix the problem the way they keep trying. The problem will keep getting worse because people in the street have less and less money as time goes on while retirees pull more dividends and keep dying. Less and less, money at the top doesn't make a damn, it just burns right up. ECB, BOJ, Fed, what a tangled web we weave. Stock buybacks, derivatives, ultra-low interest rates, and next to nothing savings rate. Underfunded public pensions, boomers retire, politics that don't make sense, and most importantly, that giant sucking sound coming from a mega-taxed paycheck. Central bankers are eliminating the middle class. For those already in it, you may have some stock, but not enough. You have savings, but you are negatively impacted by never-seen-before disparities between Fed funds, zero, and inflation, 4%. You pay heavily on your credit cards, to your banks, and the arrangement is your savings have a negative flow. If you are attempting to move up to the middle class, you can no longer save your way into it, as in the past. Savings was the path with the increased ability to invest. Now one must dividend chase, yield chase, borrow and leverage to get what was once there, a fair return on your money. To invest in an expanded P.E. stock market has little promise. The lender became slave to the borrower in 2009. It was an emergency and to be temporary. The Dow was circa 10k. Dow now over 34,000, still an emergency. Get it? For anybody over 15 years old, you grew up with savings accounts, CDs, etc. Set by Fed funds rates, equaling or exceeding the inflation rate. What happened? For the entire 20th century, until 2009, this was the arrangement. Fed funds equaled or exceeded inflation. How is it that central bankers obligated to stable prices can stand before a group of people and announce they are promoting inflation, and then once it arrives? Let it run? The bargain that created, allowed the Federal Reserve was based on the Fed honoring their mandates. They are not doing so. Where is the outrage? 
and the carnage of insolvent homeowners, housing the only industry gluing the economy, is the flip side of rising rates. The dinner is done, and nothing they can do but watch it burn to a cinder. QE will widen inequality, and inequality can get banksters lynched by crazed mobs of unequal. The political class and the 1% get the first crack at the super cheap money. Meanwhile, senior citizens on fixed incomes get paid nothing for their nest eggs and get devastated by 20% inflation. The end game is simple. Destroy the currencies, let it all collapse, and then the government will say we're going to save you with this digital currency. This was the Atlantis report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.